Okay, so you're back. This is the third mini course in your vibration. So we've talked a lot about your emotional intelligence. Our emotions are what really connects us to one another. It's what you feel when your best friend walks into the room or anyone really. When you're in touch with your intuition, when you're in touch with your own emotion, you can sense what other people are feeling and have that discernment. Oftentimes when we like blow a fuse after trauma, we get stuck in different cycles. And a really common one is anxiety, which is like waiting for the other shoe to drop, not knowing when trauma is gonna happen again. It's a low grade fear, constant fear, and an inability to feel safe and secure in our own skin and in our own lives. This is really normal. Uh, all of my clients pretty much go through it. And it is really actually one of the, the simpler things to, to put back into place. Physically, what's happening when we're going through anxiety is our adrenals are overworking. And it's really our entire endocrine system is overworking. And the tip of our endocrine system up on top is our pituitary gland, which is our third eye. It literally is, looks like an eye. And it is also where our intuition um, sits. It, it literally, scientifically, is where um, psychics like get their information from. And uh, when we walk through trauma, it activates the system. And then when we don't let it open, it can collapse the system. So I want to invite you to own this really beautiful piece. And something that I've learned after working with people, whether I was teaching yoga and, and therapeutic yoga in my 20s, and people were coming up to me telling me about their abuse or what was happening with their husbands or wives, and I was sitting there going, what am I gonna do with this information? To working with people that have gone through bulimia and anorexia and teaching them how to eat again in my nourishment courses in my late 20s, and them telling me the same stories of why they're going through it and, and emotional eating, right? And, and why they're emotionally eating everything. And, or when I really started owning this methodology and, and putting it together through the last decade of my life, um, when it comes to overcoming trauma and why we go through it, I believe, especially trauma that is childhood-based, which most of my clients have had, crappy childhoods, um, I believe that we are the most enlightened, transformative, powerful souls, old souls, alive. And I believe that oftentimes trauma happens on some sub-level um, to keep our consciousness um, the planet's consciousness down and we're really beaten into submission of our sacred powers of our awakeness and once my clients get in alignment with themselves they tend to be full of wisdom and the natural progress of many of my clients was to then go out and do this work out into the world, which is one reason why the holistic health training, um, holistic transformational coach training began to teach the six personal power zone method and how to build a business and coach with it and help more people began. How my yoga teacher training certification at the 200 and 500 hour began is because my clients were like, I want to do this too. Will you show me how to do it? So I legally figured out how to do it. So it's legit, right? And um, so I believe that this pituitary gland, when activated, reactivated, gets so beautiful and powerful that we can manifest on the demand, that we have um, an inner awareness that builds deep compassion for one another, that we can heal the planet and do work with the animals and do work with one another and, and heal, right? We can heal because not only have we been pushed down, but we also are here to be 
a light and raised up. So with that intention, I want to invite you into this witness practice. And this is how you activate the pituitary gland. This is how you reactivate that so your adrenals can relax and you can recreate and cultivate self-trust within yourself. Um, this is trusting yourself, not necessarily the outside world, but the outside world does reflect your own self. So this building this will help you through it. Um, a warning, this can activate subconscious and unconscious memories to surface that you can then deal with. And if that begins to happen, seek help, seek support, join the You Matter Club, to um, get daily habits to infuse daily love into yourself. These are um, ways that I have found to help people really keep nourishing your mind. And you can join for a dollar today. Um, take a next step with me and let's figure out if a group or a private coaching is where you wanna go or going through the whole thing and knowing that you are a trauma transformer. How do you do it? And joining me on that journey to become a professional at all of this, learning all these skills for yourself and how to put them into practice. This is all options for you that are key as you open up the pituitary. Now, the pituitary is going to allow you to see. It's going to allow you to witness your own divine perfection, and it's also going to allow you to witness the divine perfection in others. Having discernment is really powerful and important and developing that self-trust. So this is just the very tip, 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 tip of this so powerful iceberg for you. And um, I highly, highly recommend you going through that self-definition of everything of, of the emotions so you recognize how you want to feel and you recognize the emotions and then you can do this practice each and every day to wake up your pituitary gland, to wake up that self-awareness, the third eye, your connection with this vibration and um, just enjoy the journey to, to you, back to you. When you have self-trust, and the pituitary is awake and stimulating, what happens is your thyroid begins to work. This is the physical things. It trickles down to your thyroid, your parathyroid, and your thymus, your pancreas, your adrenals, and your kidneys. And once that is all functioning, then your, re your reproductive system starts working, your digestive system starts working better, um, your nervous system starts working better, and things start just panning out physically, emotionally and mentally, um, utilizing the skills that I've taught in the mini course for the mental body um, is really important. Highly, highly recommend going through that if you haven't already and understanding that, that this is utilizing your conscious mind to really reprogram your unconscious and subconscious. And the, um, this also is going to allow you to feel from a witnessing perspective. So you no longer have to be attached to it and you have, you're coming from a place of, I've already survived. It's okay. I'm safe. I'm creating, you are creating your own safe space to feel the depths of hell as well as the heights of heaven right here on earth. All right, so here is here it is. I'm just gonna close my eyes with you. So I just want to um, invite you to close your eyes. Gently tuck your chin and lift the back of your neck and sit up nice and tall and straight, relaxing your shoulders down. I invite you to take a nice deep breath. Just feeling your breath. Feel how your breath feels in your body. Just witnessing it. The sensation through your nostrils, through your lungs and your ribs and your belly. You feel it through your feet and your legs, your shoulders. Just being a witness to your body. And 
And then on your next breath, bring your awareness to what you're thinking. Maybe you're not thinking anything at all and you're just thinking about your body. Maybe you're thinking, wow, this lady's crazy. What am I doing here? Maybe you're thinking, is that her cat? And the answer is yes. <laughs> Just keep recognizing what you're thinking and witness your thoughts without attaching to them, without trying to change them. No matter how random or how not there at all, how quick or how slow, just without judging them, without even analyzing them, just witness your thoughts. And on your next breath, notice your emotion. Can you define it? Like a doctor would prescribe what somebody's experiencing. Can you label it and name it? Learning how to name and label your emotions is so important and not something that's taught in school. If you had a really great mom and dad, they might have taught you this a bit. Just for now, just label it if you can. If not, say, huh, I don't know. I'll have to think about that later. Feel into that. Just feel your emotion. From any old perspective, the witness perspective. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and open up your eyes. So I want you to recognize how beautiful and power that, powerful that was. The witness is the activation of your pituitary gland. It's you practicing being a witness, meaning being in your soul and really your life, your circumstances, even how you feel, how you look, they're not you, right? We've probably heard that a lot. Oh, well, you're not your circumstances. You're not your physical body. You're not your mental body. You're not how you feel. You're not this, right? Who you are is this witness, is your soul, really, but is your witness. And when you activate that awareness in yourself, you're activating your connection to being able to separate from your life and not define yourself by your life. You are not your life. You become you. And that activates the safe container, the security that no matter what happens to or is happening to your physical body, your physicalness, you're just witness. What's ever happening to your mental chatter, you're just a witness. Whatever's happening to the sensation of feeling, right, whatever emotionality is coming from you, you can just step back and witness it for yourself. This practice alone can eliminate your anxiety, eliminate panic attacks, because you're able to activate your pituitary gland to step back and just witness to so practice simply feeling your breath in your body sensing your body and it doesn't necessarily have to be a breath you can just feel a pain in your hip feeling whatever sensation is happening in your physical body just practicing witnessing it without creating meaning without trying to change it without trying to fix it next witness your thoughts without trying to change it without trying to fix it Next, witness your emotions without trying to change them, without trying to fix them. Now, all of that you can name. That's a really healthy habit. The witness can name, right? Which then again, 
brings that separation for you. So you can own it, reclaim your power. And that's my intention for this whole series. So I hope that you really enjoyed this series. I'd love to know more about you. Please join the Woman You Matter Club on Facebook. It's a private group for us. And um, I give more tips and tools there. If you would um, like to, I highly, highly recommend joining the You Matter Club and get your daily You Love You letters. Take this like tenfold forward. 10 minutes a day is all it takes and you will bring you back together. These are tips and tools that I have my book, um, Ages Beauty, Timeless Truths, that I based some of this off of. And then I put so much more into it just for you because creating those daily habits like this one is so important for you to develop the life that you require and feel good, feel happy, feel in touch with everything. And um, I have my beautiful private practice and I'm usually accepting clients. And so please fill out that next step and we'll talk about where you'd fit in best and what's going to best to serve you to reach the goal that you desire to, to achieve. Talk to you soon. Bye.